The best things of summer are as follows, bonfires, bush lights, and truck shows. There's absolutely nothing better than spending a weekend with some of your best friends in the hills of Missouri or the beaches of Daytona, kicking back, drinking a few brewskis, and getting to see some long lost friends and generally just checking out some wicked awesome truck builds. But with that being said, there are a few mistakes that even some of the most experienced vets make when they go to truck shows. I'm Dustin, Dusty.co on Instagram, and in today's video, we're diving in and breaking down a few of those mistakes that all of us inevitably make at a truck show at one point or another and what you can do to avoid them. Let's get it. As we get into this one, drop a comment down below on what the biggest mistakes you guys see people make when they go to a truck show is either their first or maybe their 50th. One of the first mistakes that you guys can make at a truck show is not actually having your truck ready to go. We get it. Winter, it's long, it's cold. I think it's like four below zero in Wisconsin today. The air hurts your face when you go outside and nobody just wants to be out there to begin with, but soon enough, spring will be here. From that point, it's like a mad scramble to get your truck built for the first show, much like the SEMA crunch because, well, nobody wants to be the guy to bring their truck to the show stock or maybe just not bring it at all because it's not done. Nobody wants to be that guy. The good news here is as long as you're willing to make the time to install your stuff, we've got you covered on the parts. We've got over 150,000 wheels and tires in stock and ready to ship to your door. Plus with quick delivery, you guys can get it in like seven days, which is pretty wicked. Make sure to check us out, customoffsets.com. You need anything for your build or you know, if you need a t-shirt, pick up this dope new t-shirt. It's awesome. I love it. It's my favorite, actually. I, I dig the navy thing. It, it, it vibes. Either way, you guys know what to do. Grab the link, customosses.com. Another big mistake that I can confidently say most of us have made at a show is not dressing for the weather. Listen, I've been to shows in everything, in rain, in sleet, in hail, in 95 and humid. Hell, I've even been to a show in a snowstorm, which was an experience to say the least. There was snow literally everywhere in my beard. This is where the guys can put the picture of me just frozen, snow, a beanie. It's just not good, right? It's not fun. On a more serious note here though, guys and gals, one of the biggest things that you can keep in mind as you look to head out to a show this show season is to make sure you check the weather before you leave. Even though Florida is gorgeous this time of year, right? You're gonna wanna bring a hoodie to keep warm when that temperature dips after 9 p.m. because it's a power move. Nobody wants to be standing out there in shorts and a t-shirt freezing at 60 degrees. It's not good. Another one is having a good pair of boots so that you don't trash your dude shoes when you're walking across the showgrounds at Lifted Truck Nationals after it rained all week. Also a power move, right? It's just being prepared. Regardless of where you're going though, it is a good idea to check the weather and pack appropriately so that you guys don't end your show weekend early because you're drenched, right? It's not fun to stand outside in a show in the pouring rain if you don't have a rain jacket. Ask us how the showcase went in 2021. It was an experience. Bigs did a little like twin boot click thing in the rain. It was, we were vibing. Another thing you're gonna wanna keep in mind when it comes to shows is that despite what that little red devil says on your shoulder, burnouts, they're not really cool at shows, right? Now, I know we've been there and doing a burnout outside of the main gate is a sure way to make sure that all eyes are on you and your truck build at the show. And while, you know, it's gonna get your build some attention, it's more than likely not the actual attention type that you want. There's a few reasons that burnouts are typically frowned upon at truck shows, but number one is safety. As a tire spins around doing a burnout, it has a chance to eject things like rocks or other debris that may be on the road surface, you know, underneath the tire, and it's gonna shoot it straight backwards like a two by four shot out of a table saw in shop class. You ever seen that? It leaves a massive dent in the door. Not that, you know, we did that in shop class because it sounded like fun. This can be bad news bears for anyone standing near or behind your truck when you decide to just let her eat. Additionally here, we love burnouts and most guys love burnouts, but the local PDs, they don't love burnouts at all, actually. Uh, in fact, they actually really dislike them because it creates a bunch of smoke. It leaves a bunch of black marks all over the place on nice pavements, and more importantly, it runs that risk of someone getting hurt. The good news here is that there's a silver lining. If burnouts are your thing, right, if you really love to kill tires, then find a show that has a burnout pit. 
Shows like Flogfest, for example, actually have like a whole dino setup and a burnout pit. And I think last year they did dirt drag. So not only can you show people how much power you make, but you can also smoke the tires off them. Just, just letting her eat like in a smoky blaze of glory because America and bald eagles and freedom, dude, that's just the way it works. But perhaps one of the biggest mistakes that we've seen people make and quite honestly that we have also made when we're just starting is chasing hardware. Otherwise known as trophy chasing, right? This is the guys who go to show solely to win a trophy and don't actually go there for any other reason. And when you're first getting started in the truck shows and you bring your truck for the first time to a show, it can be extremely disappointing to hear them call off all the trophies and then not a single one ends up in your hands. You know it. It's easy to start throwing shade at other people's builds. A truck by nature is really an extension of who we are and, and our personality. So when you build it, it it's, it's one of those and it's really, really easy to make it feel personal and, and feel personally attacked. But here's a little advice when it comes to truck shows. They're not all about trophies. Now, sure, you could build yourself a wicked trophy winning show truck, right? There's guys that have buried hundreds of thousands of dollars into their trucks and have custom everything. And if that's your thing, good for you, man. Like. If you want to build a truck and want to invest that, then, then do that. But for the most part, truck shows aren't really about bringing home trophies for most of us. For me personally, truck shows are all about that experience, the travel there, the story of Jeremy blowing a brake caliper in some podunk town in Illinois, hanging out at the actual show, getting to meet new people, seeing old friends that live all over the country and otherwise just enjoying being at the show away from home and surrounding myself with all the awesome trucks that you guys have built. For us, that's worth more than any trophy. What's one mistake you guys have made at a truck show? Let us know down in the comment section below. And as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that, I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.